called to the sound of screaming and run out to see a man had stabbed one of the passengers. He had that same dark, faded face as Emily and kept asking us to join them forever in torment. The guy who stabbed began to pull. <laughs> I heard the snapping of bones and his face began to fade. It was an awful sight. He then stood up asking his wife and son to join him. Oh boy, it seems like trains aren't the only thing affected. Okay, let's get out of here. Last thing I want to become, I'm like that guy. <laughs> We decided the best plan was to keep going down the line and try to find Gordon, Percy, or anyone else. God, I hope we don't run into any more of those things. When we neared Gordon's Hill, we decided to check the uh -oh. uh -oh. God, the real meant. It doesn't mean he's technically dead, but it's safe to assume that he's probably infected by now with the cards that you real. I can't get away to explain this to Harvey. <sighs> don't worry, Blake. I'm sure once we'll be able to fix all this, we probably can fix all this. Who knows? There might be a card just like in the Fallout area. <laughs> While heading down Gordon's hill, we were shocked to find a little old engine. He was damaged, broken, and he was almost out of coal. But the number two on his tender told us everything. He didn't say anything. He groaned in pain as he kept backing away from us. This old hey, thing wait, 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 Go, 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 go! Oh, I'm going, I'm going! Take it! Hey, James, come on, we gotta go after him. He might do something! We made it to Marin where we had originally seen Emily. We put Edward and James into a siding where Edward finally spoke. Apparently this all started about a month ago when that new research facility was built to research sodas past and recently found artifacts. Thomas was sent to help at the facility for a while till Totham could get a permanent engine. While doing so, Thomas began to act different. He was always blurring and being clumsy. That was until the day it all went wrong. And two weeks ago, the facility had been doing strange experiments that were yet unknown during which Edward took a goods train to the facility where he talked to Thomas. I don't like it here, Edward. Why is that, Thomas? Well, it's just I kept seeing these weird experiments going on. I... But then strange noise were heard within the facility. The people within began to scream and a massive roar it shoot throughout the yard. And the fog sirens glared as the mist leaked out of the facility and spread all over soda. Edward tried to run but the heavy train held him back. Thomas tried to help but Edward told him to run. Edward slowly moved and when he finally got a grip he saw Murdoch heading right towards the facility.
Murdoch hasn't been seen since. Some engines were transformed into horrible monsters while others were lucky enough to be spared. So essentially the beginning was like a pity pity chance, mostly. And then it went on to become a zombie virus. Oh boy, this is a lot to take in. I think I'm gonna fall over. Please do not. 